chess is more than a game, it's strategy, it's intelligence, it's friendship. Welcome to my world, welcome to my channel. The game has just begun. Hi chess friends, today I want to show you other semi-final of Chessable Master 2022. We have um, uh, Ramesh Babu Pragananda against Anish Giri and uh, who will win will go to the final uh, against or Magnus Carlsen or uh, Ding Liren. And uh, he here Ramesh Babu Pragananda plays with white pieces, Anish Giri with black pieces and we can begin to, to show the game. D4 by Pragu, Knight F6 by Giri and uh, C4. G6, Knight C3, D5 and C capture for D5, Knight capture for D5 and uh, E4. Pragu controls the center in this way. Knight capture for C3, C B capture for C3 and now Bishop G7 to prepare a castle. Bishop uh, C4 to put pressure on, uh, on F7 pawn. And now uh, c5 by by Gire. We have a knight uh, e2 to to consolidate and to defend better this pawn, the d4 pawn. And now castle by Gire. Castle by Prago and uh, knight uh, c6. Bishop uh, e3 to defend better this pawn again. And um, b6. Here Gire could play something like bishop here to pin this knight uh, or something like queen uh, c7 but decide to bring the to push the pawn and maybe in the, in the future he will bring the his light square bishop on on b7 however b6 and now uh, h4 really offensive aggressive move by by Prago. the idea is to push h4 h5 to to break into the defense of um, king's um, giri and uh, Giri here try to play e6 to close this diagonal. Here in this way with e6 you not only close this diagonal for the light square bishop but you put pressure on the h4 pawn and you are threatening to capture. So here Prago decide to push h4 h5 and now uh, Giri plays h4. Here is not good to capture this pawn because you gain a pawn but you open up your king and you double up the h pawn and you are so weak some move can um, be played in this position like knight uh, f4 simply to put pressure on h5 pawn or 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 knight g yeah knight f4 i think is, is the best move here in this position i don't know if something worked but yes knight g4 to put pressure and if you push you can simply come with the knight here and this is good knight g g g3 so here we have um, queen h3 after h5 we have queen um, queen h4 sorry and queen uh, c1 by prago you have not to defend this pawn because uh, if you are after queen c1 uh, sorry about that wait a second okay sorry for the interruption we have a queen c1 and now you, you can't capture this pawn if, if you try to capture this pawn it's a it's a bad it's a losing position because do you want to, to try to find the move for 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 white here There is simply knight uh, g3 and uh, knight g3. Can you see? And now queen has no square. If you put the queen here, follows bishop e2, and now you, you you lose the queen. You lose the queen. And if you play something like this, fo follows bishop g g5, and now after this, uh, uh, queen uh, g4 bishop e2 and you have to give the queen for for a bishop so you can take this um, this pawn and uh, if you do something like bishop here the same bishop follow 
g5 and now you have no way so you have to to, to do something with this queen because uh, if you move a piece like bishop b7 or the rook uh, or this rook on a e8 yeah, follows bishop here and there is no way to escape from this queen because after queen queen h5 follows like before knight g g3 and queen here g queen g4 and bishop e2 and now you have to do the queen again so here you have to play another move and now uh, you can capture other pawn this is important because it's the same because follows again knight here and now you have to give the queen like before like before exactly like before because follow bishop g5 and the same line trap traps uh, the queen okay so here you have no no way the only move that you can play is uh, c capture for d4 and the gd plays play, play it uh, plays it and now we have uh, um, c capture for d4 queen capture for d5 and now after queen capture for e uh, queen capture for e4 sorry we have uh, rook uh, d1 now a move uh, like uh, knight here is different doesn't work because after queen here you can't play something like this because now is different queen can capture the d4 pawn so the same line doesn't work so you can't play knight here you, uh, so uh, prago plays cor correctly and uh, rook d1 to defend this pawn we have a uh, knight a5 to put pressure on uh, the, the c4 the bishop on c4 and now knight uh, c3 prago decide before to attack uh, to attack a dark queen we have a uh, queen b7 you could come with the queen here but to to bring the bishop on b7 to do a battery to put pressure on g2 checkmate but bishop b5 and now you have the uh, same problem so it's not a good move so queen uh, b7 uh, bishop um, e5 e2 to to bring the bishop on f3 uh, to counter attack on this uh, light square diagonal and now bishop uh, d7 so bishop uh, c6 is coming so we have uh, this uh, wonderful pushing h5 a uh, can you see h4 h5 h6 and now this pawn is so strong and um, this is uh, i think the 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 piece of the game because allows to to do an attack for 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 Prague and uh, here this pawn is well defended so Giri has to to come back with the bishop bishop h8 but this pawn he is so strong controls the g7 square and now Prague has a, an active plan so we have uh, bishop um, uh, f3 to attack. Uh, the dark queen and now bishop uh, c c6 if you move the queen here you lose the rook so you are not interesting to do to do this so bishop c6 and now um d5 d4 d5 we have pawn capture for d5 bishop uh, e4 d4 the idea is for prague is to to take uh, the strongest piece of uh, of uh, to the um, of black because this this bishop here is uh, so important because defend black king and uh, is not a good move capture bishop 44 because after rook 44 you have this weakness on the dark square and you are so weak so so we have uh, simply rook d8 and now bishop capture for h8 king capture for h8 and now we have knight capture for d5 seems a sacrifice but not really because after bishop d5 follows this move and uh, if you want to try to find in this position follows queen d2 and now you can move the bishop if you move the bishop is checkmate after bishop capture for f3 or simply you come back you decide to come back whatever you want is always check because follow queen for d8 this bishop is pin rook for d8 and now rook capture for d8 and h6 pawn guard a g7 with a terrible checkmate so in this way prague will gain a, will gain a piece 
we have uh, queen uh, e7 and now we have a uh, queen c3 check and uh, Prague is ready to capture this bishop f6 to close this diagonal and now rook capture for d5 rook um, c8 but now this is a terrible mistake and now you can find uh, try to find the winning move for for Prague here because here we have rook e1 and now if you try to capture uh, uh, queen of Prague who follows rook for e1 you change the queen but the rook on uh, the 7 rank are too strong rook d7 will coming uh, and uh, will capture the h7 pawn with uh, with checkmate so you can do nothing if you try something like this uh, follow this and now you you, you can defend this, uh, the, the, this this terrible threat so you have no way so here Giri decide to play queen c7 uh, but it's a bad position for for black queen a3 by pragu and this knight here is so passive uh, so Giri prepares plays knight c4 with an attack on the queen we have uh, queen uh, e5 Prague would like to, to change the queen to bring his rook on e7 square, really strong position, but now follows knight e5. And now um, it's another mistake, it's not easy position for for Giri. Prague has played a good uh, a, a good game and now this is a moment to take uh, an advantage and uh, to win the game. So try to find the best move here for, for white to crush the position. Prago here plays rook capture e5. Really super crushing move because here you have a, a lot of problem. Uh, you can't capture with the queen because if you capture with the queen, there is queen g7 checkmate. So and the rook for d7 is coming. So this is a reason to play rook capture for e5 because this knight controls the d7 square and uh, in this way you get free d7 square for the rook and uh, the attack is unstoppable we have uh, so f capture for e5 but now follows rook uh, d7 queen c1 check last resource bar but doesn't work we have um, bishop d1 you can play something like king h2 because we have um, queen for h1 check and now we would be a problem so we have simply bishop uh, d1 to block the check and now this battery on uh, the 7 rank is too strong and uh, after queen capture 46 is not important because we have obviously queen capture 45 check you have to move the king you can do nothing if you block simply queen for g7 checkmate but after you, you move the king simply bishop can come to the attack and the bishop b3 is checked this diagonal is covered light square diagonal is covered dark square diagonal is covered and now you can do nothing you have to move the rook but follows everything here like bishop capture for f7 check and after the key move you can play like queen h8 and this is checkmate so a really good game by by Prague with a really nice line on the opening with this pushing H pawn to to crush the, the position, and uh, this game allowed to Prague to go to the final and to to fight against uh, or Carson or Ding Liren. So a really wonderful tournament. And uh, I hope this video enjoy you like always and uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and see you soon with another video. I will show you the final and um, thank you really much. Bye bye.